Hey, this video is from How To Tech, uh, bringing you a, basically a disassembly and a screen replacement on an HP 7 1800 tablet. A couple tools that we're going to need is a small Phillips screwdriver, a nylon spudger to pry up some ribbon cables, and I like to use a guitar pick as an opening tool. You can really use any uh, plastic tool you need to to open up this edge, this little seam here. There's a seam in between the back and the uh, cover or the kind of the bezel. Just make sure your tablet has the SD card removed as well as being powered off before you start this process. I'm going to insert our pry tool right here down the side. It seems like this is one of the best areas to start. You can see right here, we've got a separation starting between the, the bezel portion, the front frame, and the back frame. It just has some little clips in it, and as you slide your pry tool around it, it'll go ahead and unsnap. So we're working our way down the back side. You want to be a little bit careful when you hit the power button, volume buttons on this side of the device. Just make sure that you uh, don't bend or push them in or break them. You don't want to damage any of the buttons on the board of the tablet itself. Every once in a while the edges can be a little bit difficult to get to unsnap to move your tool around it. So just be uh, a little bit cautious with that. All right, making some good progress. Looks like we got a snap up here next to the power button, volume button still working for us. There is one right in between the power button and the volume button, so make sure that uh, you're careful with that as well. You don't want to break it. All right, now with the rear cover removed, you can see the internal workings here. The big silver thing in the middle is the battery. The green portion is the actual logic board, the thing that makes the tablet function correctly. And then you have a speaker uh, with a black and red wire, and then a couple ribbon cables attaching for uh, the touchscreen as well as the LCD. This is the, what we're going to replace on the front of it. This cable here is for the front touch, this one here. And you can see that there's screws all the way around the outside of this device. So all of the black and silver screws will have to be removed to remove the housing on this. Now, although I do have the housing, I will be doing a glass-only tutorial within this video as well. The first thing we're going to undo is the battery. I'm just going to pull back on this cable. It kind of just wiggles out. I'll use my nylon spudger to get it started here. Then my fingers just pull it back. All right. Now with the battery removed, we're going to go ahead and put our nylon tool underneath it. You want to be careful when you do this. Uh, you don't want to puncture or, or damage these batteries. There's some adhesive just down the sides of it and right here at the top. So I'm just going to push my nylon spudger underneath. It usually pops off pretty easy. Now on this opposite side here, there's some adhesive that holds it on here as well. Just push your spudger right underneath it. I'm going to pop right out for you. Just be careful with that ribbon cable that runs underneath it. Uh, you can see my power button and volume button popped off, so not a problem. So I'll go ahead and set that aside. Let's reform your battery and set that battery aside. You can see here's the adhesive that I was talking about. Right here on this side, on the upper side, and then on the front of the battery as well. We're going to remove all the ribbon cables off the device. This one looks like it might be a little bit tricky here. We'll take a look at that in just a few seconds. I'm going to pop up this ribbon cable at the back that has just a little flip up connector. Be gentle with this. They're, they're easy to damage. Uh, so just give it um, a decent amount of pressure, but don't force it up. We're just going to pop it back down once it's out. Do the same thing for this one down here at the bottom. This one has a little bit of adhesive underneath it. So you may need to use your nylon spudger to kind of pry it up. Just be gentle as you do this. There is a a chip on top of the ribbon cable that you don't want to damage. They might have some yellow uh, Kapton tape holding it down. Uh, if you need to pull that back, feel free to do so. That won't damage anything. So we have this red and black wire for the speaker here.
We're going to undo the screws here and see what's underneath this logic board. So all the black and all the silver screws. We're going to take the silver screws out first. So that's what holds the logic board onto this metal frame. Now you do want to keep these in order. They are varying lengths. So make sure you understand exactly where you remove them from the board. I normally draw a diagram, uh, which is what I'm doing right now, of where the screw came out of on the board. So make sure you pay attention to that. Some are shorter and some are longer. Is there a second screw? Here's our third. The fourth screw to be removed. This is our fifth. Sixth and seventh here. Now we're going to try to pull this board up, <clears throat> checking to see if there's anything underneath it that's holding it down. There is a front-facing camera cable which we're going to remove. Use my nylon sweater to get underneath the board and pull it away. Pull it back underneath this ribbon cable, and it looks like we'll have to remove some tape here. We will have to remove this speaker. It's just held on with a little bit of adhesive underneath it, so just use your spudger to get underneath it and pull it up. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Now our next step is all of these black screws that hold this onto the frame of the this plastic front frame. So we're going to need to undo all of those screws. These look like to be they're all the same length. You don't have to understand exactly where they came out of uh, on the frame itself. You can just put them in a pile. Now, if you are using the frame, just be careful. It is plastic, so it's easy to strip the screws uh, when removing them or putting them in. Uh, so just make sure that you get a nice, good, solid fit onto the screw head before you try, start trying to unscrew it. Now if you are looking for a good place to get a replacement screen, I found it a little bit difficult to find a replacement uh, touchscreen for this particular tablet. I ended up buying a used uh, screen from uh, eBay. It was the, plat the white plastic housing as well as the touchscreen itself and the glass. It was pretty cheap. It was like, I think it was like $15. So it's kind of hard to search one out, but uh, that is where I got mine if you're uh, interested in trying to find one. Just a few more screws to go. Now if you're looking to replace the actual LCD screen in this, 
Uh, there's a little ribbon cable connector underneath this uh, black tape here. It's rolled up. All you need to do is flip it up like all the other connectors on the logic board and just unfurl that cable. And that'll let you replace the uh, basically the LCD out of the tablet itself. It doesn't seem like it'd be extremely difficult. Uh, I actually didn't take it out um, in this particular uh, repair as I didn't need to. We're just going to pull back the metal housing here. And you can see that the ribbon cable for the touchscreen just needs to be fed through. And then the same thing for the LCD. It's still attached to the cable that runs up. You might be able to pull the cable off and then unfurl it before you, you undo it as well. Uh, as it wasn't broken, I didn't want to mess with it too much. But all you need to do is stick your nylon tool in, pop this little connector up here, and then undo the cable like all the rest. You can pull this out. You can see the LCD isn't attached with anything. Uh, it just sits freely inside of the frame, so it wouldn't be a difficult process to repair or fix. Go ahead and set that aside, and then we have our frame removed. We just need to get a couple pieces out. Uh, the front-facing camera. There's a little black grommet that's in there as well, so if your new frame didn't come with that, make sure you remove that as well. Now that's it. That's the disassembly. If you want to watch the reassembly video or the glass only, I'll throw them down in the description of this video. If you found this video useful, hit that like button. If you want to see any future disassemblies, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you on any of the future videos that I put out.